marine, land, and air robots together to save the survivors of a nuclear disaster. A difficult task, but robotic intervention could well become a reality in the near future, as demonstrated by ERL Emergency Robots 2017. At a disused power station site on the coast near Piombino, a disaster scenario caused by a radioactive leak has been simulated. A disaster that truly happened in 2011 at the atomic power plant in Fukushima, Japan, following a tsunami. Here, 14 teams representing 16 universities, companies and consortia from 8 countries faced off in a robotics competition. Each team had an aerial drone to collect information from above, to be sent to a sea-going marine vehicle and a ground vehicle that had to close valves in order to block radioactive leakage. The robots then had to locate the survivors and deliver a first aid kit to them. These kinds of competitions for aerial and land robots are important because both researchers and robots have an opportunity to work in an unstructured environment, uh, in a very dynamic environment. So the robots and the researchers need to learn how to adapt um, to these new uh, and variable situations. The difficulties are even greater for marine robots because they cannot be reached by radio waves when they are underwater. We have one general problem that is due to the fact that underwater we don't have GPS. So it's really hard and complex to know the position of the robot during navigation. Here, in this scenario, we have an additional problem that is the low visibility underwater. And in this case, the cameras are really hard to use for navigation and detecting objects. The information sent by the drones is used by the ground vehicles to locate the entrances to the building. Once inside, the robots had to find the valve of the plant and shut it down. A precious experience for many young people just entering the robotics world. It's also a way for them to build interconnections. These people will all be working together in the future. The ocean research community for vehicles like this is very small. So uh, this is where they build their friendships and connect. And then it's also for our society as the Ocean Engin Oceanic Engineering Society. It's very important because this is our future also. This is the community that we're servicing and they're bringing in uh, themselves to, to uh, be a part of our activities. The competition was organized at a local level by the NATO Center for Maritime Research and Experimentation, CMRE, which was entrusted by Eurobotics, the coordinator of the International Organizing Consortium. These events are a wonderful opportunity for young and brilliant students to connect with research institutions. We have been currently uh, having a new program in CMRE to bring uh, a new generation, young uh, students, quite often uh, coming out from uh, the university. And we are very pleased. We are around, uh, today we are around 25 uh, scientists at the center that have been working since two or three years. And, uh, and we want to get more because we, we see the very good things coming out from them. In 2015, in the scenario of the NL Tower in Torre del Sale, the Eurathlon Grand Challenge took place, the first race in the world of multi-domain robotics. In two years, much progress has been made, and the robots have become more efficient. Uh, I mean, they still have a long way to go before they could deal with the entire emergency uh, environment. But, but the robots we have right now are certainly capable of assisting human uh, rescue workers in, in for instance, uh, exploring the, the, the area of the disaster and helping the, the human emergency workers. But ERL Emergency Robots 2017 was far more than just a race. The entire city of Piombino, with its beautiful historic center, was involved in the event. In the breathtaking scenery of Piazza Bovio, a terrace overlooking the islands of the Tuscan archipelago, there was, for example, a robotics course for kids. And at night, 
There were public demonstrations of robots which by now can be used to intervene in places affected by natural disasters. The Great Kermess of Piombino was funded by the European Commission through SPARC, the world's largest research and innovation program in the field of civil robotics. Automation is indeed the big challenge in the near future. Agonists of this competition, there will certainly be the young people attending ERL Emergency Robots 2017, the scientists of tomorrow.